Miami is hands down the best city to live in in 2024. Yeah, I agree. We've been living here now for almost three years and it has just been such a good living experience. And I feel like we have a pretty good idea what the city has to offer. And we both moved here actually from different places. So I'm originally from the Netherlands. And I'm from the Washington DC area. But yeah, I agree. Miami just has so much to offer from the beautiful weather. It's pretty much nice year round to the networking and business opportunities to the sheer amount of things you're able to do, the places you're able to go and see. It's really endless. Yeah, so we really wanted to make this video to kind of show you guys how we experience Miami, the things that we love to do in the city and what the city has to offer. So if you're considering moving to Miami or maybe just coming here on vacation, then this is definitely a good video to watch. So the first thing I want to talk about is it has such a good health and wellness scene. Like I love living here because of that. Like I've always been big into like fitness and just working out in general, but it's always good weather. So you can always go on a nice little walk and it's always just nice to go outside. Like there's no thought of like, oh my God, it's raining or if there's a storm outside, it's just always good. So that's definitely one of my favorite things. And then um, another thing is that it has a really good like wellness, I guess just like a good workout class space. There's a really good like program on ClassPass and a lot of gyms and Pilates studios uh, you can go to using that. I personally go to a Pilates studio right close to our house. And I love Pilates. I fell in love with Pilates in Miami. I think it's one of the best workouts there is. And yeah, I just think it's great to do all of that. And then next up is there's always some sort of wellness event going on. There's a bunch of wellness hotels here that offer like really nice spas. But then there's also events where people just come together like for wellness. And you'll have like yoga events, uh, plunge pool events. Um, yeah, there's just a bunch of a big scene with kind of a lot of things going on in the wellness space. So it's definitely something that I haven't seen before in a city. I think it also has to do with kind of like the nice weather. Everybody wants to look good, obviously. Um, but yeah, the weather also allows everybody to kind of be outside and focus on those things. Another thing is it's really close to the beach. We'll go a little bit into the neighborhoods later on in the video, um, but it's just really nice to get out, go to the beach on the weekends. It's super close to where we live. We live in downtown Brickell and we're actually heading to the gym now. We go to Equinox, which I think is pretty well known. They have a couple locations in Miami. So let's go. What are you gonna work out? Full body? What are you gonna work out? Um, legs. Mm -hmm. Okay, all done. Now we're gonna go to Grandpa's smoothie. All right, so the second best thing about Miami is the networking aspect and just the sheer amount of opportunities that are in this city. For instance, we live in Brickell. I think a lot of people who move here are entrepreneurial minded. A lot of people come here with the aspirations to start a business or maybe they already have one. And I think the community really represents that. There's a lot of people that are open-minded and friendly, a lot of people who are just open to meeting new people. So it makes it really easy to network. I have a recruiting company. It's called ECT Talent. We've been in business for about a year now, and we specialize in basically anything tech. So anything within AI, data science, software engineering, hardware engineering, we do all of the above. So I work with a colleague, he's based on the West Coast, I work here remotely in Brickell, and it's a great opportunity to start a business, especially because Miami's known for its growing tech scene. 
I also think it's very easy to connect with people. Just the other week, I actually went to a networking event hosted by a company called Sparks. And what they did was a co-founder speed dating type of event. So you went around and you matched with different people who were building platforms and different apps or people who were looking to make investments. So it was cool meeting other people who are, you know, just entrepreneurial minded, other people with, that want to connect and do business. And I think Brickle and Miami in general kind of represents a lot of opportunity for that. I know there's been, you know, big like Bitcoin crypto conferences. Um, there's, there's a big, I guess, like tech scene as well that's, you know, always growing. So yeah, a lot of opportunity to, you know, network with other people. And as a business owner myself, I'm definitely taking advantage of that opportunity. So yeah, we, we've been doing it for a year now and it's going really well. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like it was a grind getting it started first, but now we're starting to gain traction. We've had some success with a couple of different clients and we're really looking to, I guess, expand this whole next year. So that's why I'm actually trying to put myself out there, do these videos and just kind of network with anybody who's open-minded about connecting with me, learning about what I do, and maybe in turn, you know, I can mutually, you know, help someone out. Cheers, baby. Cheers. How do you like your smoothie? I like this one a lot. It's like a mix between a matcha and a smoothie. It's like perfect. It's the best of both worlds. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, it's okay. It's a bit watery for my taste, but I do like matcha, so I'm not mad at it. Mm. So now we're on the way to Brickle City Center, and we're gonna share all the things there are to do in Miami, how many places there are to go. It's endless. There's a ton of things to do. Too many. <laughs> Brickle on a Saturday is definitely vibes. <laughs> in the previous video. This is Moxie's. It's such a nice place to just have some food and drinks. It's a good place to people watch for sure. You wanna go over here? Okay, this is probably the most famous outlook. Yeah, I, I think, feel like, well, well, not list, well, maybe not famous, but I guess everybody just comes here to take pictures. Yeah, always tons of people. Yeah. So we're now in Brickle City Center, and this is like the mall of Miami or Miami Brickle. Uh, there's a ton of malls in Miami, but this one is specifically to Brickell. Um, it's a really nice mall. It's kind of like an indoor-outdoor vibe. It has really nice architecture. So Brickell is actually really small. It's only really a couple of blocks, but there's obviously a ton of people that live here. There's a ton of high-rises. A lot of people call it the Manhattan of Miami. Um, so yeah, it definitely has a little bit of resemblance of New York, I would say. But also, of course, with combined with the nice weather. So. There's a ton of things to do here. Like the mall is filled with just super nice restaurants, cafes, um, activities, things to do. There's also like a main street that is just filled with restaurants and the whole area is just really nice. We really like living here. Um, but other than that, there's, it is, Brickell is kind of very central located because you have within 10 minutes driving, you have Coconut Grove which is a really nice upscale area. We also made a video on that recently, so we can link that one if you want to check it out. Um, and then South Beach, which we love to go to as well. That's about a 20 minute drive from Brickell. You just basically have to go over the bridge. Um, South Beach is so nice, has a bunch of nice luxury hotels. Um, the beach is super beautiful and really you can go anywhere along kind of like the north up to the south. But going beach. back to South Beach, which hotel would you say is your favorite? Because it's hard for me to decide between Faina Hotel, the One Hotel, the Addition. There's so many options. Yeah, there's so many options. Um, I would say probably the One Hotel is my favorite, or one of my favorite. And then the Faina is really nice as well. Also, all the nice kind of like upscale restaurants are located south of Fifth, south of Fifth Street, basically. Um, that's just a really, really nice area, and it also has the really nice South Point Park, 
um, which we also made a video on already. So we can link both of those um, so you can watch them back. Overall, there's just a ton of nice neighborhoods. There's also Wynwood, which we haven't done a video on yet, but that's kind of like more of an artsy, like hipster type of vibe. Um, there's also like Little Havana and like, um, yeah, where you can find a little bit more like Cuban and Yeah, influences. old school, traditional Miami. We yeah. haven't really explored that much. Yeah, there's Coral Gables, which is also kind of like an upscale and like more n nice residential area. Bell Harbor, which is a really nice mall. It's more in like the north side. And there was a huge, huge mall called Aventura, which is also a place where people live. So the, yeah, the opportunities are really like endless. You can kind of go somewhere new every weekend and kind of explore the area. And other than that, obviously you're in Florida. So Florida has a ton to, op to yeah, offer. How, how many hour drive is it to Tampa? It's like a four hour drive from, to Tampa, which is, you know, it's okay. What like if you want to do like a long weekend, what? What about Orlando? Orlando is about three and a half. But um, now you can also take the Bright Line. There's also a Bright Line a train that you can take. It goes all the way from Orlando to Miami through like West Palm. Um, yeah, West Palm is really nice. You can visit the Florida Keys. And then, you know, the Caribbean and kind of like Central America is just a short flight away. Yeah, so, we went to the Exumas last year. It was 45 minutes. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, the Bahamas are super nice. So it, it really has a lot to offer. And um, yeah, that's one of the things I love about it the most. And specifically coming from the Netherlands, um, my family is almost all over there. And it's only a six hour time difference, which for me is important. Like I wanted to be on the West Coast, or sorry, West Coast, East Coast, um, because that has the least amount of time difference from all other places in the US. So that was important to me when I moved here. And um, yeah, Miami kind of like has it all because it also has combined with the great weather, the great people, the networking opportunities, and yeah, the things to do. What'd you get? Got some new clothes. Oh. Uh, we recently got more into golf, so I got a cute little golf outfit. I can't That's wait it. to wear it. It's like black and white. It has like old money vibes, I feel like. You also and got some t-shirts that I've been wanting you to get for a while now. Yeah, some basic tees. I personally just love the quality of Evercombe. Everything is cotton, which is not toxic, which is good. We appreciate you guys watching the video. Yeah, it's been really good talking about all the things we love in Miami, and I hope we inspired somebody. Um, we will be putting out a lot more videos in the future, so yeah, let we're, us know. We're going ham with content this year. <laughs> yeah, let us know in the comments if there are any subjects you would like us to cover about Miami, about other neighborhoods, anything you want to know. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that button below. Yeah, thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next one.